Firestarter here and welcome to my toy review of the SH Figarts Mask Shadow Mask and the animals of oh, Shadow Moon. So this is Shadow Moon finally. Um he came from he was voted um during the Time Machine Nations 2010. Uh, they posted a poll uh, which which common writer they want to see in 2011 they pick Shadow Moon so he is the winner of the poll that's why we're having Shadow Moon right now thanks to the voters so this is the box it looks like the old common writer box because uh, Shadow Moon is in black and white and we do have the um, the old box design but with Shadow Moon, um, you can see the reflection because this is a really shiny box. See, it reflects my light, if you can see here. And it says here at the bottom, come Rider Black. Yeah, Toy Bandai SH Regards in English, Shadow Moon SH Regards in green letters. Side, and the, um, I would call it blades reach out until to this panel of the box shadow moon sh regards you can see my camera and at the back for cool poses for shadow moon yeah shadow moon um it says here he has the um death blade and two additional swords which you can play later which I'll show you later let's open the box and let's see Mask Rider Shadow Moon so we have here um, accessories for Shadow Moon we have two open hands and it's painted in silver until the tips of the fingers just like on the show and two holding hands there are grooves again in the middle so it will um, help in holding the accessory these swords basically so we have two swords really identical and the middle is like the revolver cane which I will re re will be reviewing soon um, the, the revolver cane is from Mask Rider Black RX, and um, it's translucent plastic on the blades, but it's not bendable. Although I can flex it just a little bit, it's not recommended because it may uh, break. And we have here the Satan Saber, or in Asian language, Satan Saburu. These are really um, pointy and it hurts when you um, press your finger harder on the scabbard or the handle. And it's also in translucent red plastic for the blade. There's not much detail really on the original um, Satan Saber. So we won't see that much um, detail on this on the SH Regards. Uh, counterpart but then again um, since they it doesn't have that a lot detail it's easy for SH Regards or Bandai to mold this Satan Saber and they did well congratulations so let's move on to Shadow Moon Shadow Moon and um, articulation points first the uh, head is rested on a neck joint and there is also a neck, um, neck joint obviously and shoulders shoulder pads um, it is on a reverse flip 
um, if you've seen my other SH Figures uh, releases or reviews, mostly the hinge comes from here. So when you lift this um, shoulder pad, it reveal it moves towards the head. But um, for Shadow Moon, it goes to the other side. I don't know why. And you can easily see the ball joint over here. The uh, swivel points over here, double jointed. Actually, it's it. It looks like a double jointed um, elbow, but when you flex it, it only reveals one. But rest assured, this is a double jointed elbow. Swivel on the hands. Show it the swivel. And a torso articulation waist. And let's see if the belt is independent from the torso. So yeah, slightly independent, but it is um, latched uh, or it stays that way because it is like hindered by this area from the waist. So um, it hinders the belt to move 360 or move in any other way. Same double jointed um, hip joint. Double jointed elbow, uh, knee, at elbow. This is not an elbow. This is a knee. A hinge on a hinge, uh, for the foot, and it is really well hidden because of the um, tassels. I would say tassels. I would right at the bottom, but this is called and a hinge on the toe see but it is again what i said uh what i mentioned it's really well hidden because it looks like the foot um design is like a continuation of the ankle so it it won't really see the um hinge and the ball joint from afar it's a great great um sculpt and uh, other uh, other details that are noticeable about um, Shadow Moon is the neck molds over here, the spikes on the shoulders, the metallic spikes everywhere actually from this gun uh, side of the gauntlet, shoulders, chest plate, and the uh, shins. It's really, uh, it does really look like a robotic um, Kamen Rider. The shoulders look uh, loose. Um, it's not that much. Uh, I've seen um, worse, but um, it does hold uh, well. But you will really feel that um, sometimes it has a tendency to move on its own. Rest assured, it's not. The antennas are um, difficult to handle because uh, they're really thin on both sides. So be careful, he is like Kamen Rider uh, Cyclone Joker wherein the antennas are thin and if you press it hard or accidentally press the antennas it will break. Same compound eyes. I would give you a closer look in the middle of the forehead. So it re he does really looks like uh, he does really look like a robot in the first place. Teeth. It look. Uh, it's not really teeth, but but um, fangs, if you will. Side panels on both sides of the head and at the back. Nothing um, specific or particular. I really do. I really wish that these. Um, let me focus a little bit. Or let me zoom out. These parts would uh, move up and down every time you plant the foot on the ground. Um, it, it does happen on the show, but it won't. It doesn't in the um, figure. If they would just include that, I would be really, really happy. There are horns at the uh, at, at the um, near the elbow area. It's rubbery, so. Um, I won't worry too much destroying these parts. But then again, like I always say, take care of your, your toys, take care of your figures. Now, um, 
Let's take out the hand. Let me zoom out a little bit. And let's replace it with a holding hand. Just to test if um, the hand holds perfect on the swords. So we have the common sword. Um, looks like a short sword to me. And doesn't move. It doesn't wobble. So that's a good thing. And of course the Satan Saburu. Was Satan Saber. Yay! Hold! Yeah. Now he is wielding the ultimate sword. Yay! Test! No. He is nice. Very nice. The only complaint that I would give to Shadow Moon is that he, the, I mean, the proportionate, the proportions of um, the figure doesn't really match the whole look and feel of Shadow Moon. Um, the upper torso uh, looks thinner than the, or it's not proportionate with the legs, which looks like it's bigger than it should be. But still, he is a nice figure overall. And uh, another complaint, um, because the hinges for the shoulder pads are on a different side, if you try to lift the arms and you don't flip up, whew, don't flip, don't go, don't go, stay. If you try to lift up the um, arms because of the shoulder pads are hit, um, the shoulder pads are hitting the torso, it scratches on the base of this panel. So you, ha uh, you have nothing else to do but lift those and it removes! Oh! One thing they didn't show you. It's on a peg and uh, hole system. It's not on a hinge but it's pegged on the shoulders. Hmm, interesting. Until now. I didn't know until now. It really looks awesome. So if you want to know the post videos for this figure, do check out the photos at the end of the video and do subscribe to my blog spot for the written review. This is Firestarter. Thank you very much and until next time.